Sorry, sir. Sorry. Are you okay? Your phone. What did they say? The nurses are attending to her. She's responding to us more. That's good news. That's good news. At least just take care of her. Eh? Take care of her. Meanwhile, I, I can't find my phone. After that thing happened, I can't remember Your where phone. I dropped it. Yes. And there's no phone inside the car. And you're sure you didn't leave it in the hospital? No, 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 no. I, I did not because I was rushing from the house to go get airtime to call you. And I called you. After calling you, I was rushing back to the house to wait for you. Since then, I... I can't find it. Yeah. And you are sure it's not in your bag? You know you men, your no, bag used to have compartments. There's nothing here. I've checked everywhere. Hey, have you called it? No, 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 no. I better help me call her. Dering. It's ringing, it's ringing. Hello? Hello? Yeah, speak. Hello? Please, who is this? I picked this phone on the road. Sir, please, um, um, where are you? Who are you and where are you so I can pick up, come and take my phone? I bumped into a lady today. I almost hit her and she dropped her phone. Oh, so sorry, sir. Please, where are you? So I can come and pick up my phone. I'll text you the address now. Okay, sir. Please, text it to me. I'm waiting. You found the phone? Yeah, hey, I beg. I go call my phone. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna say they come. Yeah, he's he's expecting me. Okay, now wait. What happened? Why were you running so carelessly on the road the way you did? Um, my, my sister had an accident and I was rushing to the junction to get airtime to call someone that would help me take her to the hospital. So I was rushing to go back to the house to be with her before the person gets to us. Wow. Um, I'm sorry about that. How is she now? She's she's fine. She's fine. Well, I hope it's not too serious. Uh, sir, it's something it's it's quite serious. And the hospital is asking us for 250,000 naira. I don't have up to that on me. But I've given them the little I have. So I have to call our family, friends, anyone that could help us. So I quickly want to collect my phone so I can start making calls. I have to call our mother in the village as well. And I'm hoping and believing that God will come true for us. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm sorry about that. Just give me a second, let me grab your phone. So, 
Here is your phone. And that's 200,000. I want you to add it to whatever you have for your sister's treatment. For me? Yes, for you. Oh my God, thank you so much, sir. Okay. Thank you. God bless you. Thank okay. you. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. That's fine. I appreciate okay. this. I, I, I don't even know what to say. Thank you so much. You, you don't have you, to do that. Your pockets will never run dry. Thank Amen. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I, I, I'm, I'm so excited. I, I don't even know what to say. It's okay. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Thank you. God bless you. Amen. Bye, sir. Thank yeah. you, sir. Hello? Good day. How are you? I'm fine. Good day. Who am I talking to? It's me, the guy that picked your phone. Oh. Hi, good day. Good day, sir. Um, how did you get my number? Have you forgotten that you sent me a message to thank me for helping out? Oh, that's true. I totally forgot. And thank you once again. You don't have an idea of what you did for my sister. Thank you so much. God bless you. It's fine. So, how is she? I hope she's getting better. Yes, she is. She's even getting better faster than we thought. And the hospital is really doing a good job. She's responding to treatment. Like, everything is fine. Thank you so much, sir. Have a nice day. You are indeed a good friend, Willie. Thank you so much for everything. Thank you for helping my sister and I. Now I did here. Now I did here. Uh, just let me take you up her very well. Okay. Eh? Let me take you up. Let me just rush and go and meet this client that keeps calling me. Ah, no Allah. Thank you. Eh? God I know bless Allah. You. No Allah. <laughs> Hello. Eh, I do your streets now. I don't they drive the car. No, you the wear pink. Okay, now black you wear. Yes, thank you for everything. Don't thank me, Clara. Don't. Sis, I know you've been avoiding me. I'm sorry. Clara, you're sorry. Really? You're sorry. That's why... You took a decision to take your own life. How? Why would you even think of a thing like that? Because of life issues and challenges? Or you think you're the only one that has problems in life? Everybody has something they're dealing with. That is life. That is what it comes with. You had, you, in fact, you did not even sit for a second to think about me. How am I going to feel if you do a thing like that? No, you didn't. Okay, fine. You don't give a hoot about me. What about mom? What about her? Did you for one second think of how she's going to feel if she hears this? Coupled with the fact you, you know exactly what she's going through. And you sat down and thought of this and took a decision like that. How? I 
can't just blame. All I know is that there was this this little voice in my head telling me that there was no way out and that I needed to do it to escape from my misery. I don't know, I don't know how it happened or how I got here. I don't know. Clara, there is no problem without a solution in this life. Once there's life, there is hope. Look, you are bigger than that tiny voice in your head. You are beautiful, you are smart, and you're destined for greatness. Look, you have a great and bright future ahead of you. Let nothing stop you from having that. Nothing at all. Look, next time you think of a thing like this, next time I'll never ever forgive you. I promise I won't do it again. Don't even think about it. I am sorry. It's okay. It's fine. Thank you, sir, for your kindness, your humility, your generosity, and everything you've done for us. We don't take it for granted. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir, for saving my life. God will continue to bless you. We are grateful. Guys, I'm glad I was able to help. And... I was actually making lunch before you guys arrived, so maybe we can all eat together? No, sir. We, we, we don't eat anything. We just came to say a heartfelt thanks to you. Yeah, we're not. Right. <laughs> Are you sure? Yes, thank you, sir. <laughs> The guy is not just cute and rich. He also has a good heart. Ha! Ah, if we're some men, because of that singular act, they will demand for the girl's body and soul. <laughs> in fact, in her whole life. But this one, he just did it with clear mind. No ulterior motives, nothing. Like, ha, huh, wow. He's the right type. I didn't know men like that still exist, actually. He has to be an angel on earth. Agree. He's exactly the kind of man every woman dreams to have in their life. Huh. Mm. Women like you. Oh, you think I did not see the way you were looking at him and you were blushing? Me. Look at him. Ha. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh. The last time I checked, we went to appreciate and say thank you to a man that helped us. That's, that's, that's what I remember because I don't know what you're talking about. See, sometimes you forget that I know you. I know you too well. Sis, it seems you don't know me as much as you claim to do because if you did, you know that was nothing. Nothing. Me, look at him. How? Did I? Did I look at him? Mm -mm, I didn't. Was I staring? No. Nah. I don't know what you're talking about. Mm. What do I know? Mm, nothing. Okay. Meanwhile, the money he gave us is going to go a long way. At least we'll do some shopping. I'm going to change my nails. I'm going to buy better wig. Like, you know, I want something like your own. Uh, 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 uh. What, what did I hear you say? The money that he gave us. I'm going to use it. I will use it to stock up the house, buy groceries, buy the important things we need in this house. 
pay up those people who are owing down the road. It seems you've forgotten. Not for your frivolities, okay? It's not possible. Not now. What? Sissy, I don't like what you're saying. Ah, how does that affect Calm me? Calm down. I don't know. Life I'm, is not that serious. I've told you what we're doing with the money. And that's it. Okay, let me change my news now. Why? What? What? I, why, why do you need to change it? I'm always carrying bad so news. So all things now, that money, you want to change your news? Clara. Ha! This is my sister. <laughs> I'm on street. Really? Hello, sir. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. And you? I'm good. So I I called to tell you something and um please don't be offended. Okay. Go ahead. Okay, so I um earlier you said you were cooking and um from all indications I I can see you're still single. Um cooking for people is part of my hustle. I um I I wouldn't mind if you let me help you with the cooking, you know, I um, all you need to do is just give me money. I'll go to the market and buy everything you need and, and cook for you. I see. Is that why you refused to eat at mine? You think I'm a horrible cook? No, not at all. That's, that's not it. I, I, I know you're busy. I just would love to help by taking the stress away from you. After you had day at work or in the office or your place of business, you might have had a hectic day. So I would love to help. And I don't mean to brag. I make very yummy and tasty meals. So you wouldn't want to miss such relish. You, you have to experience it. And I, I, I must say, while people cook in the kitchen, I create magic in the kitchen. You should try venturing into advertising. <laughs> I get that sometimes. <laughs> so how is your sister? She's she's very well. She's fine. Yeah. The anything that I do, you tell me of me right now. Help you with. No, nothing, nothing. I, I got this. What? Yeah, I'm fine. I don't need your help. Come on. <laughs> it's not that serious, okay? I just want to help. Besides, if I dice onions for you, you're going to give me an award. <laughs> Look, no one is giving anyone an award here. I can do this by myself. I don't need your help, sincerely. I'm good. All right. I'll just stand back and watch your beautiful face as you cook. Oh, are you trying to steal my recipe? Yeah. What? <laughs> just, just say it. Just say it. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Look, you have to leave. You're standing there watching me while cooking. It's quite distracting. So please, can you just go? Is it? Yes, it is. I'm sorry, but I'm not leaving. Okay, fine. But if this food turns out to be tasteless and really bad, we know who to blame. You. Really? Yes. Wow. She's the self-acclaimed magician in the kitchen. <laughs> Are you sure you really know how to cook or you were just capping? Of course I do know how to cook. I was just giving you the basic instructions, but you refuse to follow. So, huh. if this food turns out really bad, I'm not to blame. Interesting. Yeah. Oh yeah, magic shan. Let's uh, let's see so. you perform your magic. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for coming over. <laughs> it's not easy cooking all that food. I really appreciate it. It's okay. It's nothing. It's my own way of still saying thank you for all you've done for us. You're a good man. Yeah. You deserve everything good <laughs> in life. 
Thank you for the kind words. I appreciate it. <laughs>
it's your birthday, so feel good, dress up. I'll be there shortly. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, I appreciate it. We'll see you then. <laughs> so nice. I'm so excited about this. <laughs> okay, go. The best birthday ever. In fact, it is that I started celebrating birthday. What? Telling you. Jesus, I look at this. You. What? <laughs> oh my God. This one is my own. <laughs> I see your own car. I thought you picked it in the other color. This is mine. No, no, sis. Don't no, be no. like that. Oh my God. Sis, give me. Take, 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 take. We have a lot to go around. Sis, Mr. Felix is such a nice guy. When you go. I think I think this has gone beyond him being nice. His actions are suggesting he likes you. Um, I think so too. I think you're right. But the thing is, I have been talking with him, having conversations, but he has never for one day said anything in that direction. So I'm beginning to believe that he's just a nice guy. Or maybe he's a nice guy being overly nice. I don't know. Overly nice. With all these things that he has gotten us and the things he's been doing long ago, you think he's being overly nice? <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think so. Well, I, um, I remember him telling me that I reminded him of his late sister. So maybe that's why he's... <laughs> I beg. Sister, how can you even fall for that? I know men like him. Maybe he's just being a gentleman and he doesn't want us to feel that he's demanding for your heart. You know, after buying all these things for us. You never can tell. And that is why you need to shoot your shot. Shoot what? Eh? Clara, please. Eh, 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 eh. What, what, what am I shooting? I beg, I beg. I know the house. I am not interested. Shoot what? Okay. If I shoot my shot and that shot fires back at me, what will I do? How do you think I would feel? Ah, no, 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 no. And I tell, wait, I'll tell him I, I like him. Mm -hmm. Then he now turns back and tells me he doesn't like me, that he was just being nice to me. No feelings, nothing attached. Ah, God, I beg, I beg, I beg. I will want the floor to open and swallow me. Ah, no, my ego will be so, so shattered. I, don't, I can't do that, please. I, I won't. You see, this is my small self-respect. Leave it. Let me keep it to myself. I cannot. Can I go and tell a man that I like him? No, 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 no. Please, I can't. Count me out. I know they house. I know they do. I beg. Sister, we don't have money. Eh? But you too get pride. Yeah, let it be. You have like pride. Since times has changed when people hide how they feel and, and feel that they should not express themselves. People are expressive now. They are talking. They are being vocal about their feelings. Me, I just feel he's a gentleman and maybe he might feel because he's buying all these clothes or that way who think he's taking advantage. This guy likes you. Who knows? He might just be, you know, doing all these things, being emotionally available because he, he doesn't want to push it down your throat and wants you to use your brain and figure it out. I am not people, Clara. Mm-hmm. You people can be in the present one. I choose to be behind. You are way behind. Leave you. it for me. I want to be there. Things should be done the traditional way. Come on. Look, I'm not one of those that believes in the school of thought that a woman should go after a man she likes. Mm -mm. It should be done the traditional way. A man should come looking for the woman if you like her. Leave me. I want to be behind. Leave it for me. I know they do. Ha. Since I don't care the school of thought you subscribe to, hmm? you must go after him. Since it's not happening the, the normal way, let's do it the abnormal way immediately. Abby, you don't like what he's buying for us. Clara, please, though. I know they do. I'm not interested. Can I go and tell a man that I like him? How? Ha. No. I'm not doing that. You're always that. serious. You're always serious. Ha. How else do I even explain? Hey, hey, wait. This one you're doing now is not working. Look for another style. 
Think of something else, not this one. Or maybe mm -hmm. you can just, I'm not saying you should be direct. Mm -hmm. Just go through the corner, you know, just bring up a conversation as regards to relationship. I know what he will say. I am sure he loves you. I see the way he looks at you. But he basically treats both of us the same way. So you want to say you, you don't notice the way he looks at you? <laughs> Since how else do I explain these things to me? Um, how about stop explaining? Because if you explain, you'll be tired. I am not interested. Wait a minute, let me delve into what was what. But well, you're interested in his no, gifts. It's my birthday, Clara. Look, open up that. Let me open up this one. It's like you forgot it's my birthday. It's my birthday. We went shopping for me. Yeah, you could try. <laughs> I am loving all of this. This right here, it's my favorite. And every other thing. <laughs> it's not funny. Really? <laughs> I'm serious. Oh, no. That is crazy, actually. Okay, well, you know all this while... I've been coming around to your house. Mm -hmm. I've never seen a girl visit. The things I do around here is basically what a girlfriend should do. At least once in a while. Yeah, you're right. And that's because I don't have a girlfriend. Wait, wait, wait. And you expect me to believe that? Why not? <laughs> How can you not have a girlfriend? When you're this cute, rich... And responsible. You live in a beautiful house. And you don't have a girlfriend. Come on. I don't have a girlfriend. Or have you ever seen me interact with anyone in a way that suggests that I'm in a relationship with them? No. Exactly. I am very single. But I do have a crush on someone. I just don't know how to tell her. Come on, things like that come naturally to you guys. What do you mean you don't know what to tell her or how to tell her? Um, the truth is, we're getting close and I don't want her to feel like I'm being nice to her because of what I want from her or how I feel about her. So um, I'm taking it one step at a time. But I really do love her and I think about her all the time. Well, I, I think you should tell her. I'm sure she feels the same way you feel. So you should tell her. Yeah. You're right. I should tell her. Yeah. You should. Well, the person I'm in love with is your sister. Clara. Your what? My sister Clara. Yes. The same one. <laughs> Are you surprised? <clears throat> uh, also, I was hoping that you would help me talk to her, you know, just make things easy for me. <sighs> you want me to tell my sister, Clara, yes. that you love her? Yes. Okay, I, I, I will I'll, I'll tell her. Really? Yeah. You'll do that for me? Yes. <laughs> you are the best. You, you, you don't know, you have no idea how excited I am. Like... Sis. What is it? has somebody he's in love with. How? I tried 
to do what you suggested. And he admitted to not having a girlfriend. But he has someone he has a crush on and he loves the person. So this man actually knows he's in love with somebody else. Why was he not giving you the green light? He kept coming here, buying things, making sure that we were okay when he actually knows that he's interested in somebody else. Clara, it's you he's in love with. Excuse me. It's you he loves. According to him, he started loving you from the first day we went to his house to say thank you. He loves you, not me. I, I, I don't understand. This is not right. Uh, this is wrong. What is... Is, is, he, is, he, is he okay? Is he mad? What, what do you want me to say? What, what answer do you want me to give to you? Does he want to come between? I don't understand. Why would he even say that to you? What was that? Clara, he owns his heart. His heart loves who he wants to love. I, I, I don't have an answer to your question. I, I just want to be left alone. I, I have a headache. I, I need to sleep. Whatever. I just, I just don't want to talk anymore. Please. Should I serve your food? No, Clara. I don't feel like eating. I'm not hungry. You've not eaten since you came back yesterday. And you're saying you're not hungry. Clara, I am not hungry. I don't feel like eating. Like, food is the last thing on my mind right now. Just want to be left alone. Tell me you're still worried about. I'm not hungry. Just let me be. I need to rest my head. I have a lot going on in this head right now. Food is the last thing in my mind. Fine. There is food in the kitchen, so if you're hungry, you microwave. I'll see you later, sis. Sis, why are you doing this to yourself? I mean, you said he was just being nice. So why are you letting this weigh you down? Do you even have an idea of how this makes me feel? All of this, do you have an idea? He made me believe he liked me. He was nice to me. He treated me right. He, 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 he bought me things. I believed he liked me. I started developing feelings in my head. Thinking he wanted me. And all of a sudden, he comes back to start telling me something I, I, I don't even understand. And that one he's saying will not work. He should snap out of it if he's thinking of loving me because I can never love him. Sissy, I don't want anybody to come between us. 
We are grateful for the things that he bought for us. Yes, I appreciate, but this is not it. I understand how you feel. I know how you feel. God's blessing does not come with any sorrow. Let, let us leave this one. When the right man comes, he won't come between us. Okay? I love you. Why can't you love me? Is my love not enough for you? I didn't say that. Oh, come on. Then tell me you love me. Of course I do. <laughs> oh. I bring your leg. Let me massage it for you. Oh. Ouch, that hurts. Oh, sorry, Ouch, sorry. Stop. I don't want Let's Thank pretend you see that. Oh. <laughs> Clara. 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 I've been thinking. About what? About Felix and us. I thought we already concluded on the matter. Whatever we concluded on or discussed was based on emotions. I don't understand. I want to ask you something. Do you have any atom of love in your heart for Felix? Look, be sincere with me. I just think he's a nice guy. I mean, he's handsome. He's cute. He's every woman's dream. But I don't have any romantic feelings for him. Then develop it. To what end? To date him. <laughs> Salora, what are you saying? Clara, we can't let a man like Felix go just because of the situation. I want you to get to know him, get close to him, open up your heart to him, love him. He said he loves you, and I know you, you like him at least a bit. Give him a chance. This is, this is not right, and you know it. You are the wrong person here. What is wrong? is to let a man like Felix go, just like that. Look, I... Don't worry about me. I understand how life works, that sometimes you don't get what you want, but it's okay. So please, I am giving you the free will to get close to him, love him, date him. Please, he's a good man. I will not do it. Clara, thank you for agreeing to do this with me. The truth is, I fell in love with you from the very first day that I saw you. I know you have questions, questions that I may not have answers to at the moment. All I'm asking for is a chance to prove my love to you. And I promise you'll never regret it. Okay. So let's um let's create beautiful memories together.
I'll give you Help me taste the meat. What do you think? Is it ready? Does it taste okay? Never on that one. You sure? Another one. Baby, be serious. Mm, I don't know. I can't really get the taste of it. <laughs> babe. <laughs> babe. Babe. <laughs> yeah, he's in store to eat meat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. Babe. Yes? I know you dropped out of school, but I'd like you to go back and finish. Don't worry, I'll take care of everything. Really? Yeah. Thank you so much, babe. <laughs> You're so kind. You're welcome. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Why are you smiling like that? Nothing. What are you doing? <laughs> yeah, I think I'm doing. <laughs> Let me see. Um, see what? What do you want to see? Pay, 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 pay. Um. Don't you want me to no, like? No, 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 no. We, we can't. Why? Because we'll do it when the time is right. What do you mean by when the time is right? Oh boy. So, I have a strict principle on sex. What I'm basically trying to say is that I have a three months rule and we can't have sex till then. It's just a way for us to get to know each other, bond, and make sure that we truly love each other. My love is going to be difficult. Yeah, but we can do it. That's why I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Am I not lucky? And I love you too. <laughs> so we're going to sleep? Yeah. Just like that? Mm hmm, just like that. But we could read the Bible before going to bed. <laughs> <laughs> is that not weird? I'm kidding. <laughs> Felix, thank you so much for all you've done for us. Thank you for my sister's education. Thank you. If I don't take care of my baby, who will? <laughs> Since he's so intentional. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Laura, I'd like to expand your business. So let's look for a bigger space and get everything you need for your salon. Oh my god, thank you so much. Thank you. I look, I, I I don't have the right words to express my gratitude, but I want you to know I'm very, very grateful. I appreciate all you do. May God replenish you and bless you more. Thank you. I love you so much. I love you too, baby. I'll do anything for you. <laughs> <laughs> Laura. Um, I just want to say thank you. You've been an amazing person with a great personality. Thank you. I appreciate you. Thank you too. So she didn't need anything. Uh-uh. Are you sure? Mm. Thank you.
clack la. Oh, he doesn't give us celebrity vibes these days. We'll see as you the fresh, eh? Like a Nollywood star. Ah, Clarence, have I leave me? Oh, leave me. <laughs> We're not serious. Ah, I'm serious. Ah, serious, guys. Serious people are the ones that do much worry now. I don't have to be serious. Are you savvy? Ah, Claire, Claire. <laughs> yes, and on a serious note, though, this uh, Clara ex boyfriend, uh, that's his name, uh, Kingsley. Kingsley, he has been calling me. That he's trying to reach Clara. He's just disturbing me every time, every time. Trying to reach Clara, trying to reach Clara. I said, I don't have Clara's number. Oh. Uh -uh. He's just trying to reach her. I don't he know what He cannot going reach on. her in Jesus' name. Reach her for what? For what? I made sure Cl um, Clara disconnected everything she had to do with that guy. In fact, I warned her. Because we don't need such person around her. At all. Everything that concerns him is bad luck. He's not good for her. Please, he should not reach her. Mm. For what? Uh, but the problem now is that he's disturbing me. Hey, he can't disturb mm. you. He should continue disturbing you. He can't disturb my sister. Ah. William, this is this your seat belt where they walk? Now one person just spoil her. Ah, ah. For do I'm now? It's in all the work. I will fix her next week. Now money no good will no get. Uh, you, you just increase my fear now. You give me extra money, celebrity now. <laughs> I will leave me home. You see that um, Kingsley. Hope you did not give him my number. No, at all, at all. I don't give anything. Ah, I don't or give anybody's it. number that can. Trust me. Nah, I beg, trust I beg. Me. In fact, we did not have this conversation. He should disturb only you. He should leave my sister out of it. Okay. Bad market, Kingsley. Useless man. What do we best not go see? <laughs> You didn't tell me he'll take this long. Sissy, I've told you he will be back soon. Okay? Just wait me. Okay. What you want to tell him? Can't you just tell him over the phone? No. It's money matters and it involves a lot of money. So I have to see him face to face. I mean, I like the business idea. I like everything about the business. It's a good one. I've even done my market survey. Mm. It's, it's really good. But I'm worried about the amount of money he wants to put into this business. It's a lot of money. And this guy has been spending so much money on us. New phones, pocket money. Like he takes good care of us. Now he wants to spend all that money in one business. I'm scared though. I don't even know how I'm going to tell him. The money is too much. Sis, I don't think that should be your headache. It's not like we're begging him or forcing him to do anything for us. So, since he said tell him, just... Open up, tell him the exact amount you need and I'm sure he will do it. I know, but the money is plenty. I don't even know how I'm going to open my mouth and say to him. But it's fine. <laughs> how is your school plans coming along? Fine. We've done all the necessary preparation. And they said I'll be joining them next section. Really? Yes. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's good news. That's good to know. I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm, I'm happy too. Wow. And you just me. Hmm. What did I not even tell you? I saw um, Williams on my way. Okay. And he told me that that good for nothing, useless lunatic of a boyfriend, your ex boyfriend, Kingsley, came to meet him to ask for your number. That he wants to reconnect. Can you imagine? A Kingsley. man that made you almost take your life. He had the guts to come to ask for your number. So you don't have sense. <laughs> 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 Reconnect with me. Why? <laughs> Since I hope you did not give him my number. Am I mad? For what? How? <laughs> give him which he's, number? He's not serious. Like, who was even thinking? Like, how? Oh, God. I thought William's got Kingsley. to you. Yes. He went to meet William that he wants your number. It's the audacity for me. Mm, he's so bold. But says now he no gets. Nabi? Yes. Because he last says he won't ask for your number. A man that made you almost take your life. Like, how could he? I heard Kinsley has been calling you. <laughs> calling is an understatement. That guy is after my life. He's trying to choke me. Any small thing, any small thing, my phone is ringing. Why is he calling me? I'll pick it. Hello, what do you want? Say, I'm in love with Clara. He has not moved on. Disturbing my life. I told him, you have moved on. You are now dating somebody else. He doesn't want to hear that one. So I had to tell Laura. To Laura, this guy is disturbing me. Laura said I should leave him. That he doesn't have a life. He's a very stupid person. And I agree. The only problem is uh, 
is offering me 50,000 for your number. I said no, never, never. I refuse to give him 50,000. He's mean. Why would I give him your number? I didn't though. I didn't. Why is he looking for me? I thought he said I'm not good enough. You know, that's how we men are. Uh, it's when we lose what we love, you know? And we've lost it, that's when we know the value of what we have lost. That's the problem. I'm sure now he's regretting losing you. No, you too now. Nah. You're a very fine person. It means if I lose you, to pay me. <laughs> Williams, you should say you don't collect the 50,000. Me? Ha, I can never give you. Ah, you're, you're very important to me now. Nah. You're very, very important to me. I can't give him your number. Oh. Yeah. Ordinary 50,000, I mean, you can give me. Chicken change. <laughs> Hello? Clara, it's me, Kinsley. How did you get my number? That doesn't matter for now, baby. Please, just... You've not answered my question. How did you get my number? It's Williams. He... Hello, Williams. So you actually gave that idiot my number after all the warnings I gave you? I beg, no vex. The disturbance from the guy was becoming unbearable. Eh? Like he will not even allow me concentrate. I'm driving, he is calling. I'm eating, he is calling. Eh? Even in the toilet, he's calling me. And my landlord was on my neck that I should pay my rent and I didn't have the money. Then he offered me 100,000 just for your number. And they think about it. I'm very sorry, I'm very, very sorry. I just had to do what I had to Williams, do. I am so disappointed in you. I thought we were friends. So you can actually sell me for money. Okay, now that I've given him the number, if you just go, block him. Now I know the kind of person you are. It's fine. Yes? Babe, please, just hear me out, okay? I just want us to see, and we will talk everything over. Listen, Kinsley, let me tell you. I am in a better place. And God knows I am so happy. I don't want you to come and mess things up for me. Do you understand? So please, I beg you in the name of whatever you hold dead, don't you dare call this number again. Nonsense. <sighs> Audacity.
Babe, are you okay? <laughs> I think someone is trying to blow up your phone. Is everything okay? I'm okay. You sure? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm, I'm full. What is it? What is your problem? Why are you calling me by this time? What is your problem? Can't you leave me alone? My love, please. I know. I just want us to see. I really need to explain. Things. I have nothing to discuss with you. Do you understand? Kissily, I have nothing to discuss with you. Please. Listen, Clara. All I need is for you to hear me out. Just let me see you once, please. I really, really need to see you. Please. Please don't go there. I still love you. Babe, my boo, my love. I know you're angry. I know you're hurt. But I know you also know that I would never intentionally hurt you. I love you that much. I mean, don't forget so soon. We have some good memories together. The early morning poem. You are the shining sun besides my moon. The stream that flows into my river and the river that flows into my ocean. It's you. You're my muse. Okay, it's not working. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I didn't explain anything to you. I could not have done that. Okay, regardless of whatever you heard or whatever you feel, I did what I did for us. I didn't just walk out on you. Okay, I did some business that went south. And 
they wanted to kill me. But I didn't want them to get at you. You are everything to me. How could I ever lose you? So I had to leave you and I took a walk so I could sort out things. I'm sorry I didn't explain it then, but I would never intentionally hurt you, my love. I can't live without you. My life is empty without you. Come on, babe. There's no sun to give light to this moon here. This river is drying up because the stream is no longer flowing. You are everything to me. I'm... I love you, Clara. I love you. Thank you. Thank you, babe. Mm -hmm. It's still on do now. Hello, sir. Good day, good afternoon. How are you? Well, I'm fine, but I can't say the same for your sister. How is she? Is everything okay with her? Laura, I really don't know what is going on with Clara. I've tried to ask her, but she's not saying anything. She's not been her normal self for a while now. She's been sneaky secretive, always acting weird. I believe she's talking to someone and she doesn't want me to know who the person is or what they are always talking about. This person calls her, sends her messages at odd hours. It's crazy. Have you tried talking to her about this? Of course I did, but she's not telling me anything. Um... I'm sorry about this, sir, but I don't have an idea what, what it could be. But don't worry, I'm going to talk to her about it in case there's something she's dealing with or some underlining issues she doesn't want to talk to you about. I'll, I'll talk to her. Thank you so much. I'd really appreciate that. You're welcome. Hello, Clara. What is going on? What do you mean? Felix called me to complain about your attitude recently. What is going on, Clara? There is nothing going on. Uh, 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 uh. Don't even dare lie to me. Don't. Don't even think it. Start talking. What is going on? See, it's... Talk. It's Kinsley. What? Have you lost your senses, Clara? 
Are you stupid? Are you mad? Have you lost your sense of reasoning? Why would you let that useless, good-for-nothing, jobless Kingsley have access to you? Why? Sissy, he's not jobless, useless, whatever you call him. He's Kingsley. He is everything I said he is and even more. He is jobless. He's a lunatic. He does not have sense. He is stupid. He's a low life. Why did you let him have access to you? Sissy, he's not. He is. He's not. You should have blocked him when he tried to call you. That's what a sensible person would do. No. You chose, to, you chose him to spoil something good for you. Huh? Don't you have sense, this girl? You want to lose a good man because of a lunatic? A useless fellow, jobless, shameless man. It's only Kinsley that will make you behave like this. She, like she walked out on me, literally. God, this girl. Clara! Wow. Why are you doing this? Look, it's getting out of hand. And he's complaining. It's not fair. Felix loves you. He adores you. He cherishes you. He can do anything for you and you know it. I don't see the reason why you should let an ex spring up from nowhere to destroy and ruin what you have. It's, it's not right. You shouldn't let it. So see, just let this slide. <laughs> let what slide exactly? I won't let anything happen between us. Let this slide. Clara, you know exactly how I feel about Felix. And I let you have him. Now you're treating him this way. I'm not happy about it. Sissy, you let me have Felix, right? You let me have Felix. Why do you still care about what or how he feels? So, because I let you have him, you think that gives you the right to treat him the way you want? I'm not treating him any houses. We are good. That's what you think. You're not good. You are not. You're not good. And he's complaining. Whatever it is that you have up your sleeve or whatever it is you think you're doing or planning to do, make it stop. It's getting to him. He's worried. Make what stop exactly? Make what stop? Because I, I, I don't see what I've done here. So I should not keep friendships or relationships that I have had way before I started dating him because I'm in a relationship now. It doesn't make sense now. No one said you can't have friends you've had before the relationship. Meaningful ones. Not people like Kingsley. He's not good for you. Kingsley is meaningful relationship. No, he's not. He is not, and you know it. You can't let off a good one and go for something bad. Kingsley is not good for you. Stop whatever it is. Stop hurting Felix, and I mean it. It's for your own good. Don't hurt him. Let's just stop, stop talking about him. Me, I'm angry. What was the meaning of that nonsense? Are you a control freak? To make matters worse, you reported me to my sister. What were you trying to achieve? Is that how you intend to run a home? Any little issue you will call a town hall meeting because I, I, I refuse to talk or something? Babe, I was worried about you. You weren't talking to me, so I felt I needed to involve your sister. That's the point. That's exactly the point. You don't need to involve my sister. You are in a relationship with me, not my sister. If you feel like there's something bothering me and I don't want to talk about it, why not just wait? When I'm ready, I can talk. You, you, you must not necessarily call my sister all the time. Like I said, I was worried. I just needed to be sure that you're okay. If you feel like I'm not ready to talk, you should just be quiet and, 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 and wait till I tell you what the problem is. You must not push it. I'm sorry. I'm so done. I need some space to breathe. Babe, come on, it hasn't gotten to that now. Babe? Me the opportunity to learn 
and become a better person. Thank you for all the experience. Before I met you, I was in love with someone. But because of all the good things you did for us, I decided to try my best and fall in love with you. I really did, but I'm afraid. I can't continue anymore. Because I feel like I'm leading you on in vain. My heart beats for someone. And on that note, I've called wits. Please don't bother looking for me. I'm fine where I am. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I I don't know what came over my sister. I don't know why she'll treat you the way she did. I'm sorry she had to put you through all of this. I'm sorry, please. All I did was love her. Why would she do that to me? She has someone else in her life. And she still led me on. Why? I'm sorry, I, I totally understand how you feel. I don't know why she did what she did. I'm sorry. Thank you for coming, but I need to be alone. It's fine, I, I'll leave. I'm sorry. Felix, please open the door. I'm sorry. Can you please leave? I don't want to see you. Please. 
please just open the door L let me talk to you I'm, I'm sorry for everything i'm sorry on behalf of my sister please i, I need to talk to you please leave Please, Felix. Oh my god, you're burning up. Your temperature is high. I should go get you something to take so you feel better. Okay? I'll be right back. How are you feeling? Much better. The medication is working. It's good to know. Thank God you feel better. So I'm going to make you um, breakfast so you could have your morning medication with some food. Uh, you've been around for a few days now and I really appreciate it. But I think you need to go. Why? You, you don't like me being around. At least I'm helping you out. I need time to heal and forget everything. Seeing you around just reminds me of her and that makes me upset. What is wrong with you? Felix, am I invisible to you? 
What are you talking about? You claim to be hurt by my sister because she was leading you on. And you've led me on from the very first day I saw you. The gifts, the kindness, the money, all of it. You've led me on. You're guilty of the same offense you're accusing my sister of. Felix, I have loved you. Shown you love. But you act like I don't exist. You act like, like I'm invisible. I gave up the love I have for you to be with my sister. To make you happy. To make both of you happy. Yet you treat me like I don't exist. You treat me like, 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 like I'm invisible. You can't see me. You don't see me. If you want to sit there and suck all day, then be my guest. Laura, 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 wait, wait. Did you mean all those things you said upstairs? You were in love with me? I, I didn't know. I'm, I'm sorry. It's fine, just, I'm leaving. Laura. Hey. I called, but you weren't picking up. I went to your salon and you weren't there. So I decided to come here. We need to talk. There's nothing to talk about. I totally understand how you see me like your sister, and it's fine. I've accepted it like that. So there's nothing to talk about. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for not seeing you. Sorry for being so stupid. I'm 
sorry that I didn't notice you were the one for me. Please, let's talk. Babe, I, I just want to apologize for being so blind. Not saying that you've always loved me. <sighs> um, I'm sorry I didn't get the memo. Can you stop apologizing already? I'm all yours now. Oh. So can we concentrate on making beautiful memories together? Hmm? <laughs> I like the sound of that. I love you. I love you too. Still doing the test. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well. So, a toast to to new beginnings. A love-filled relationship. Yeah. Beautiful memories. Yeah. And no more forgetting the memories. <laughs> Absolutely. Right. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers, baby. I can stare at you all night. Same here.
you know you can talk to me. Whatever it is, tell me. Okay? Talk to me, Clown. Sis, is Liz a gigolo. What? He has lots of sugar mummies. Oh my God. One of the sugar mummies that he's sleeping with. They came to the house and asked us to leave. I've never felt so embarrassed in my life. Oh my God. What? Clara, I am so sorry you had to go through all of that. But I warned you, I did. Sis, I am sorry. I was naive. Stupid. I allowed my emotions to override me. Now look at me. So look at me. It's okay, sis. I'm so sorry, sis. Sorry. <laughs> but I am happy for you and Felix. How do you know we're together? <laughs> Come on. He's always posting you on his status, his reels, his Instagram feed. Everywhere. You guys look really cute together. And I am so happy for you. Thank you, sis. At least now you get to prepare us. <laughs> and do those POV. Mm. This could be you. <laughs> <laughs> sunshine good morning baby good morning <laughs> uh, did you sleep well yes i did mm. waking up right next to you makes it even more beautiful <laughs> and waking up to your beautiful face is the best thing in the world. What? Why are you looking at me like that? Because it feels so good to know that I can finally say I love you in any given time and space. And I hope this lasts forever. Of course it will. I love you. I love you too. So, what does my queen want to have for breakfast? Um, I love having you for breakfast. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know, I might just have to break that three months rule because of you. Okay. Should we start now? Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Love you. 